I'm Lee Spencer with the Racing Boys, and I caught up with J.J. Yaley, who is in a much better mood than I thought he might be. Came from the O up to the L, and as you know, I told you, I was sitting next to somebody, and they said, J.J.'s really putting on a clinic. Every young kid in America should be watching what he's doing right now. Uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't have any real high expectations just because I've never been in this uh, bad a situation coming in the Chili Bowl. So just, you know, I, I try to be really patient every race and just take my time, not get a rush like I did my uh, preliminary night. And, uh, you know, I got there to the L, got into a transfer spot, bicycled run in the bottom, and, you know, I was adjusting my car based off the previous race. And, you know, you had to be on the bottom. That's where the grip was. Unfortunately, I didn't spend a lot of time in the bottom because I was passing cars. So slowing down and trying to roll the bottom my bicycle gave up the transfer spot um you know then just got into a hurry got back into a transfer spot trying to pass the car that was you know struggling there on the bottom and just just ran you know i ran in way faster than i uh the closing rate was faster than i expected and you know it was more or less a little bit of an issue or stupidity on my part but got into him did a little bit of a wheelie and then turned the car real hard so i didn't knock the fence down so uh you know not uh Certainly not the day that uh, I wanted or the week I wanted coming in Chili Bowl, but you know, I mean, it's it's kind of what it is what it is, and you know, for for me to come here cold, I'm going to need to probably start doing like uh, you know some of the other guys. I know Bell and Larson go to Australia. There's been a couple other races that happened in December, so you know, those guys have have been able to kind of tune on their equipment and and have rust off. well knocked the rust off. I have a little bit better game plan. You know, obviously we brought a brand new race car here and. Uh, it's completely different than any other car I've had, and the bullet chassis works great, but it, it it's very sensitive to change. So, you know, I'm used to making big changes, and, and these cars don't seem to really need that. So, you know, I, I may have over just a little bit even in that last race, and, and like I said, got myself a little bit on the tight side. Was the car getting tighter with each uh, race that you were running? Uh, it really wasn't. You know, they rolled the racetrack in really, really tight compared to what we've had in the previous preliminary nights. I don't know exactly why. Um, you know, maybe it was a, a hope of, of letting the racetrack kind of slick up and, and get better passing, but uh, the, there's just no, there's no grip from the middle up, so you had to be on the bottom. And it was going to get really tough to start making it from the back of some of these qualifiers because the top was a lot of marbles. You know, they're under a time crunch. They're not going to be able to go out there and try to make the top equal. So uh, it is kind of what it is. So, you know, it was going to get really tough in the next couple ones. But, unfortunately, I didn't make it that far. You have amassed a huge fan following over the years. Could you feel the encouragement that you were getting from the stands through each race? Uh, you can. I mean, you know, unfortunately for the fans that had to show up this early to watch me race, there's probably some people that are probably still in bed from last night's partying. But, uh, you know, I could hear the crowd uh, cheering uh, after the race, you know, as you're rolling off the back straightaway. So, I mean, that, that's awesome. And, and, again, that's what makes this race special is the amount of people that come here. They're, every one of them that are here are race fans and, and enjoy uh, the festivities that come along with it. I think a lot of people showed up early this morning just to see you put on a show, and for a while you put on a show, so we appreciate that, and um, I guess we'll see you next year. Absolutely. Next year will be my 25th uh, attempt at this place, so it'll be, uh, I don't know, some kind of anniversary car we'll do something cool for, but yeah, it's uh, you know it's one of those things we always look forward to. Unfortunately, uh, uh, this one is done, which is good. I'll get it behind me and start looking forward to next year. Really appreciate your time, and what do you have going on on the NASCAR side? Uh, right now, working with a new program, New York Racing. Uh, we're going to do the Cup Series. We're working on. Uh, uh, we'll have Steakhouse Elite for some races this year, and uh, we're going to have the uh, the Fords behind us for power. So, you know, things are looking uh, really good right there. You know, we're a little bit behind the ball, and we're trying to get cars done over there. So, uh, you know, now that again I can get this event behind me, we can get back to uh, what uh, you know what pays the bills and get ready for Daytona here coming up in less than a month. Always appreciate your time, my friend. Thank you, there.